I'm Daniel. Uh, I'm Rex. He's a whiskey sommelier. I enjoy drinking his whiskeys. Yeah, for freeze. For freeze. So, at the, the we shot all the other videos all at one time, and I was starting to get sick. It got down. It went downhill from there. The whiskey didn't help. It didn't help. It didn't. It didn't no. pull up the downward spiral. But I'll tell you, I'm back now. Yeah, I'm back. I got my sniffer back. So medicinal. I'm whiskey, okay now. Medicinal whiskey didn't really. It definitely took the edge off, but it didn't keep me from getting sick. You're still sick. You just have more fun being sick. <laughs> yeah, that's the goal. <laughs> this is Glenn Rothus, 18 year old. Wow. This is from Elton Billings. Elton Billings, you make it bastard. <laughs> Elton is also a level one whiskey sommelier now. I think I've met Elton. Yeah, you did in yeah, class. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And he he gifted almost enough to become a patron saint all at one time. Damn you! But we're just starting on the list. You so silly, silly man. Yes, he's so Glenn Rothis is dear to my heart because I use I've used it for five years. Okay. In my tour of Scotland tastings. Sure. I don't use the age statement ones. I use the bourbon fin bourbon barrel ones. Bur tell people what this is. Glen is no, a no. space the tour of Scotland. Oh, oh the tour of Scotland is a tasting of five regions of Scotch that I've been giving to students at Wizard Academy for five years. Yeah, just as a fun thing to do in the evening after class. Yep, it's sort of what spawned everything that's happened since. <laughs> I mean, no joke. The tour of Scotland is what started it all. There's, there's a map. Yeah, we should keep the map. I have the map. The map's down, yeah, there, for the down new, there for the new vault and setting, the new vault room. Yeah, it's still there. You know what's on the nose of this? Heather and sandalwood. <laughs> Man, you're getting a lot of sandalwood. These no, days. no, no, no. Because I was about to say the iron root also had the sandalwood element. Are you using like, are you using like this is Heather those and oils? No, this the the essential oils. Essential oils. You know what though? The, here's the thing with the essential oils, because the name uh -huh. essential oils. Yeah. Well, all of a sudden it makes it seem like that's this essential. It's pretty important. This is essential. You have to have these are essential too. Your well being. Yeah. <laughs> Just, a name. just some scented oil. Yeah, they're nice. They're lovely. Uh, when I had a call, I did like the pepperminty ones right yeah. here. Oh, yeah. oh that's great. Yeah. Okay, so come on, trying to come back to the sandalwood well, thing. This is all the, sherry cast. Here's the fruitiness from the sherry. Yes, but okay. So focus on the the obvious stuff first. Okay, the obvious sherry. stuff. Deep sherry. Yeah. Right. And beautiful sherry, but it's more sherry smelling than whiskey smelling. Yeah. <laughs> but then, but if you like the sweet. After end of that the spectrum, sweetness. yeah, if you like the sweet end of the spectrum, you're going to feel right at home here. I can see how it's more woody than a sherry would taste. Mm -hmm. So the the outside edges of that sweet candy that, fruit. And that woodiness has like that um, boutique Pier 1 wicker sandalwood, mm -hmm. a little bit of potpourri. I feel like wicker vibe. is a more accurate I think than wicker, the sandalwood. Because the sandalwood is a dramatic thing? smell. No, it, it is, but... You're just talking about an element, a yeah. layer. Yeah, that's why I say the wicker about... is a little more subtle. We're not huffing sandalwood. <laughs> oh, <laughs> my bad. You, you like to huff that. I way. like to huff that. Someone made a comment about uh, the reason I was sniffing for the last four episodes was that I had a different kind of problem. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going in. Oh, it's it's low proof. That's mild. Oh, oh 43. Yeah, I was expecting a little bit more. Depth, drama, and depth on the no, nose. No, no, it, it starts. A it's little definitely bit, on the nose. It's thin and candy. And the nose is rich. Yeah, the palate is just instantly kind of thin. Yeah, and sweet for and then for people that are regularly going to cask strength yeah, whiskey. Yeah. If you're not hitting the cask strength time and time again, this has you know a nice, a uh, nice combination of flavors. There's multiple layers going on here. I swished it around and it just got more candy and mm -hmm. more sherry. Um, the woody note that we're getting in the nose is really hard to find in the palate. Yeah, it's very sweet. It you does, know what? This is it a, does get buried behind all of the. Uh, that's in the floral perfume. That's disappointing. I love Glen Rothis and the nose. I was really excited about this, right. but in the palate, well, I'm, it's letting me down. Disappointed, not in the sense that it's bad because it's not bad no, at no, all. No, no, no. Disappointed in the sense that what the nose promises. Yes, right? my expectations were they elevated. Were too high. Right. I think if, we, under if we hadn't smelled it and started picking out all of these things we were, we were getting on the nose, and we went in, we would probably like it a little bit better. I'll tell you because there wouldn't have been that expectation. Yeah, This would be magnificent with a cigar, because that the rich bitterness of a cigar contrasted with that sweet sherry Look, cask. I want to move on from this one to one that no one's going to be able to get, but that was also a gift, but yeah. that I really have been looking forward to trying. Okay. So I'm kind of excited about it. 
the fruitiness as you're getting this, the fruitiness on the taste, mm -hmm. not quite as, or, or the sweetness on the taste is not quite as um, sugary and candy as much as it is like uh, a little bit more natural of sweetness than I was expecting. Yeah. This is also from Elton Billings. Okay. This is the second second one, but this is Alameda, California, which is just over the Bay of hey, San remember Francisco. remember when we just used to do one bottle of video? Mm-hmm. That was fun. Those were the days. And then I, and there was like, there was some gamesmanship as to whether or not I could get you to pour something else. <laughs> All right, so this is St. George Spirits, which is, dates back to the 80s okay. as a distillery. Yeah. In Alameda, California, which is just over the bay from San Francisco. Yeah. And this is their single malt. They've been crafting single malt whiskey for a long time now mm -hmm. in a 65 gallon still, never up, just, just okay. relentlessly producing a malt whiskey, among many other things that yeah. they make. I've had some other St. George stuff I haven't got to try, and I love this label. Yeah. It's so simple, yeah. but I love it. It's But it's invisible, though. Like, if you're holding it and appreciating it by itself. Yeah. On a nice. shelf. But on the shelf, it's invisible. Yeah. Maybe Don't care. Yeah. I'm not talking as a marketer. Okay. All right. Fair enough. I'm talking as just a... A guy holding the bottle. Personal preference. Uh, do you like vanilla and caramel? Oh, that's pretty. Uh huh, and then there's that uh, oh, like a what is it? Sweet tea, light honey. What is apple? What what's? It's have you said apple? And my brain just went apple. Okay. Yeah. 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 All right. That is that's a beautiful nose on uh -huh. that. That's lovely. So definitely the sweeter, friendlier into the spectrum here. I'm not getting a lot of mustiness, more of like a fresh sweetness. So I think people like Elton because. People like Elton, they send him multiple whiskeys. Yeah. I'm gonna get yelled at a bunch, but we combine them all in the one and we just yell at them, yell at them one time. I don't think it's a thing. You Elton Billings, like you magnificent bastard! Fight! Uh, no, the master distiller is Lance Winters. Daniel, thank you for letting me do that! <laughs> Yeah. Now that voice is turning into the dude who does the I'm Batman, but with a mask and his family. I really like you! Yell yeah, this! Yes. Yeah. Bat Dad, whatever the guy. Yeah, Bat That's what it sounds like now. Rex! Oh, oh. After, what are you drinking? After you yell and then you go back to the nose, uh -huh. it opens up a little. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so floral. It's kind of beery. Yeah, it's weird. Beery. It is a little bit beery. Yeah. But not hoppy. No, no, no. Just the, the malted barley in beer. Yeah. Very beery. That caught me off guard. Yeah, the, the, the taste is very different than the nose. What was the proof on this? 43. 43, yep, yeah, 43%. These are two 43% malts. 65 gallon pot still is uncommonly smooth. Ethereal single malt with notes of cocoa, roasted hazelnut, and hardwood smoke. Hardwood smoke. I'm not getting that I hardwood don't get, smoke. I don't get that at all. Cocoa and roasted hazelnut. All right. All right, I could see roasted hazelnut, that and that e. Yeah, I could see that. I'm I'm gonna let it sit and switch for a second and just see if I can get to the barrel they're talking about. Okay, roasted hazelnut. Okay, it could be it could be something there. I don't know if I'm getting the cocoa or the roasted or the the, the smoked hardwood. No, it got more beery if you switch more it beery. around. Okay, it's beery whiskey. Ah, oh, it's weird. Mm. I mean, not weird like oh gross. It's weird like what do you do with that? You uh. You you put on the game. <laughs> that says someone who never ever Shh. puts on the game. Right. Maybe never in your life have you put on the I game. Put on games? Yeah. No, I think you've sat and watched a game that was already on when you walked into the room, maybe. But I doubt you sat down, turned on the TV in order to flip to the game. No. Yeah, it's not happened. No. <laughs> I don't, I don't dislike the game. I'm just saying. It's just pretty low on my list of things to do. You've never prioritized the game. Never really prioritized yeah. the game. You, right, know you, what some, it, you know what it is? You got At some comments. such a young age, I was just a supremely excellent athlete. <laughs> All of the challenge and the drama that goes into the sports never really hooked me. Because it's like, this is so easy. I'm winning everything all the time. <laughs> Surely there must That's be. A don't call me Shirley. Andrew Brown. Everyone knows that Caligula was George Washington's Air Force commander during the <laughs> Revolutionary War and provided George Washington with much needed air support when he crossed the Rubicon. That's right. That's right. Everyone knows that. That's that's some whiskey history. <laughs> whiskey history. Now, 
Yeah, that would be a fun one. Whiskey history. Whiskey Damn, history. I think there's a show called there's Drunk, there's drunk history. history. Drunk History on the Comedy Yeah, we'd Central probably show. be a... Tyler Anderson. What is the red box that says Kavalin behind Daniel and to the bottom left corner of the screen? I thought it was a vintage gas can full of whiskey at first. <laughs> it does sort of look like a gas can from yeah, a distance. A little bit. Um, this is a Taiwan single malt whiskey. This is the soloist, which is cast strength. We are going to review this soon. Okay. This was a gift. He sent three of these do different you, variations. Do you know who the uh, Caligula is now? Caligula is the dude who went all sick in the head and... Uh, Something about a horse made his horse a senator or something because of syphilis, right? You know how G.K. <laughs> Chesterton is your is your is your your hero? Yeah, sure. Caligula. <laughs> Here's to fighting, stealing, and drinking. If you fight, me, fight for a friend. You steal, may you steal a lover's heart. And if you drink, may you drink with us. Hey, thanks for hanging out with us in the whiskey vault. Don't forget to throw in a like, hit that subscribe button on the bottom right, and drop a question or comment down below.